class action lawsuit has been filed against the company that owns the now destroyed factory in Mayfield, Kentucky, where eight employees were killed. And that was all because of last week's massive tornado. The plaintiffs alleged the company told staff they would be fired if they left work to shelter from that tornado. And as victims begin to seek justice, residents are left seeking shelter and all of their basic needs. Ruta Bay Shabazi shows us what's being done to help provide that food and warmth, especially at a time like this. Ruta Bay. Yes, yeah, so, so sad at any time, but especially right now, Adrian. Governor Andy Bashir has opened all seven state parks to allow families who have lost their homes uh, to stay there. The National Guard, the Red Cross, local churches, and volunteers all on the ground providing relief to these families. And when you look at the homes, you can see why. None of these homes where I am are salvageable. These families have lost everything. What I'm also seeing on the ground, uh, in Mayfield and in other communities, it's just an unbelievable outpouring of, you know, volunteerism and generosity and support, uh, you know, from from not just you know the the immediate community, uh, but from all of Kentucky and surrounding areas. That's Colonel Timothy Stark from the Kentucky Army National Guard talking about how people are coming together during this difficult time and what they're doing to help. Additionally, we are doing commodities distribution, uh, food, water, other supplies uh, that that citizens in the affected areas are needing. And the needs are great. Many of these families dealing with destroyed homes, leveled hometowns, and death. I don't even know if there's going to be a Christmas this year. I mean, the after all of happened, this, right, the fact that it December, happened, people's got to, we got to plan for funerals and everything. We don't have time. We have family that is gone, and half of our family, their families are devastated because they lost a family member. Hundreds of tornado victims now homeless are staying at state parks. Those now at full capacity, according to local sources. We had children showing up in pajamas and wet socks that they had just, you know, evacuated what was left of their homes. But these state parks are definitely not where these families expected to spend their holidays. We can't have Christmas, so I was like, you know, for right now, all that matters is that we got each other and, you know, because honestly, uh, I'm glad I'm even here right now because honestly, I thought I was going to die. And it is just so sad to hear from these people, but there is so much gratitude here. All of them, everyone we've talked to, just expressing how grateful they are to be alive. Now, they can stay at these state parks for the next two weeks. That gets them through the end of the year. But what happens to them after that, Adrian, is anyone's guess. All right. Thank you so much, Ruta. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.